I'm out here in the middle of the goddamn woods. Really embrace nature. That's why I like being in that damn outdoor therapeutic program because it's a soothing feeling. A lot of us have stress, and sometimes nature is the cure to that. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Before there was buildings, there was the world. Look at your shit. Do your shit stink? That's my shit. My shit is brown. Because I'm a healthy clown. Now, what are you? I love the outside life. I'm in somebody's church. Look at the beautiful evergreens. See, when I when you from America, a lot of shit that we learn, we have negative connotations put on our mind. And that's why I value um this whole uh island, Jamaican shit, whatever the fuck these people from that I got on my last nerves with all this uh uh island shit. Okay, so the point that I'm trying to make is try to enjoy your life. See, I have to talk myself into being an optimist, and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I like good smells. I want to be a vegan. I just got to burn some body fat, and I can get these, uh, get, get, get my body looking the way that I want to. Um, see, I don't think people understand. See, my mom... <laughs> She's stuck in the realms of a sense of normalcy, I guess. And I totally never want to be a normal person. And I never thought that nobody was really abnormal. But a lot of people are their own downfall in life. I've stopped drinking and smoking for maybe the next five years or so. That's the plan. And um, try to lose this weight. And um, I, 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 like I've said, I want to cut my breasts off and be... Um, the man that I that I always wanted to be, not necessarily the man, but man like, because at the end of the day, I was an intellect, and you know, uh, being a woman has been my downfall. You know, with people rejecting me and shit, that's negative energy. I can't sit here and go around and tell all these people that I I just want male treatment and all this shit because of being a feminist. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get treated. With how people perceive me, most people perceive me to be a woman. But this, this, the, this the point I'm trying to make. If I ever raise a child, I would never force anything on them. This is why I value certain people that come from certain places because, in in actuality, I stress for no damn reason because of um, being introduced to terms like negative and 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 um and and. And it t- somebody telling me what I need to do. All that shit like that is stressors. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me being introduced to having OCD, I moved to a new apartment and I won't take a shit in there simply because I want it to smell good. So I got my incense burning and it smelled like downtown Atlanta in this bitch. You know, when I grew up in Atlanta and I felt stressed, going places where people were foreigners, Indians and shit like that was my detox. So that's why I preserve the identity of their detox in 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 a lot of this music that we're listening to these days. And that's why I used to get so mad because I'm like, I'm being rejected because I'm a woman and I'm sitting here realizing that the fate of my life is leading me to have women that are sitting here trying to make their little boys feel like little boys and they're sitting here using me i'm sitting here getting the short end of the the stick now i'm going around worried about if a nigga want to pimp me and shit because his life led him to be a man and a woman to sit here and praise him for that simple fact and he's a damn pimp and i'm sitting here worried about you got to sit here and do all this girly shit and have discussions. I, shouldn't, I ain't finna discuss shit with nobody. Not no man, not no woman about somebody sticking their dick in me. And can we talk about this maturely? Nah, I'm not doing none of that girly shit. All y'all know, anybody who knows me know what time it is with me. I'm not no damn, I'm not behaving in no man like man. I'm stern. I'm stern out here. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Okay? It's either kill or be killed. 
okay? I sat here and did all kind of analyzing because from the get-go, I should have never been goddamn taking some little boy's dick and uh, some little boy should have never been taking me. Little dick, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? These, all these boys that sat here and they done raped me and shit and, and I'm sitting here trying to justify it with my intellectualism. See, when you, if you, if I was from an island and I ain't know no better, I would, I would ask them folks from over them island. I'm like, do you even know what sex is? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't, if you were just living in the middle of the jungle somewhere and naturally you wanted some dick, I don't think that shit, that shit is, that shit is, that shit is 100% false. That's a myth. Like, a motherfucker say, if I put a little boy in a room with a little girl, they gonna wanna have sex with each other naturally. That's not how it works. Either they seen the shit on TV or they've been exposed to it by other physical people. So what I'm saying is I as a female was a natural feminist and I would want to hang around other females. So them having brothers and shit, I ain't have I, it, 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 hey, it beats the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? I sympathize with manhood more than people think I do. So all this analyzing that I did, I basically not included myself in manhood without their permission because I never needed their approval in the first place. You know, you listen to these songs like calling your own and shit. I'm an intellect. Motherfucker can't run game on me. Okay? Because I was an intellect from the get-go. And I felt sorry for my mom. Once she had me, her heterosexuality was set in stone. I was sitting there trying to make her feel bad for that shit, but she survived that shit. She survived four pregnancies. And, and just from an intellectual perspective, that shit was dumb as fuck. And at the end of the goddamn day, I'm still a goddamn dyke. And I and I'm and, and I still am a feminist and I wanna cut my breasts off and, 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 and try to live a life to where I'm not stressed out as much. That's why I was saying telling people I'm an impale look if I go to California I'm gonna think about that little baby that got killed you know what I'm saying I wasn't there to see it but these are things that 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 people think they dealing with pain on their own but they not you know what I'm saying so with all that being said bitch your ass cannot play me so with all that being said a lot of people a lot of people think Think I'm dumb, but I ain't dumb by a long goddamn shot. Motherfucker that tried to force womanhood on me, and that shit is toxic as hell for my head. That's why. Shout out to uh, these damn transitional males and all this old crazy shit that motherfuckers are doing, sitting here trying to goddamn provide a better life for themselves. Because that's what the fuck they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, uh, I never was receptive of my identity as a woman, especially when my period came, because my body is designed to do this shit. So, with all that being said, bitch your ass is not no damn friend of ours.